Excellent. Well, thanks very much for having me. Um, so, WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Who's, who's got a WordPress.org installation that they're using? All right, who's got a WordPress.com uh, website? Excellent. So, uh, and that's one of the common questions I get asked by people is, you know, what's the difference between WordPress.org and WordPress.com? Uh, and, um, and, and really simply as we all know, WordPress.org is the one that you uh, download and host, and WordPress.com is the uh, exact same version of the software that uh, is hosted and uh, managed by, um, by Automatic or by WordPress. So, uh, but uh, there are some things that you can use uh, from WordPress.com to really supercharge your WordPress.org website. So that's what I'm going to show you today. Um, it's going to be a bit of a live demo, so what could go wrong, right? <laughs> so, uh, so let's get into it. All right. So, um, so the first thing is is that if you've got a uh, WordPress.org site, you should have a WordPress.com site as well. So make sure you uh, create a WordPress.com account, and. Um, and then what happens is that uh, there's a plugin there which is called Jetpack. Who's got Jetpack installed on their website already? Who's never heard of Jetpack? Excellent. Well, this is you're in for a treat. Jetpack is uh, is one of the plugins that is a is a WordPress plugin, and uh, it uh, really does give a whole lot of information to your website that uh, you know you may not be aware of. And there's there's a whole lot more features in there. And the more that you dig into it, the more that you can find that, that it does. So the first thing we'll do is just install um, the Jetpack plugin. And to do that, let's just uh, play this here. I made a quick video because I knew that if I went live, it wasn't going to work. So all we do is uh, uh, just the normal way. You go to your plugins uh, in your site there, and you'll see that Hello Dolly is already there, and Akismet's all, also there as well too. So they're um, uh, WordPress plugins. So we're going to upload. We'll go to the plugin repository and search for Jetpack uh, by WordPress.com, which is already on the first page of the repository. Uh, we'll install it and then we'll activate it. And then once it's activated, it gives you uh, access to a whole lot more features uh, that are available uh, through WordPress.com. So first thing you do is click the Set Up Jetpack button down the bottom, and that'll take you through to uh, the WordPress.com, your WordPress.com account to connect it. And this is what it looks like. So uh, you, um, if you haven't got an account already uh, for, with uh, WordPress.com, you can create one here. And so you just put your email address in, create a username, choose a password, and then once you hit uh, create your account, that actually creates your WordPress.com account. Even though you're using the Jetpack plugin, it creates it. If you've already got a, an account already, then you can just sign in uh, with your username and, um, and your password. Oh, I can't spell, can I? and pop your password in, and then once that happens, you'll come to a screen which will say, do you want to approve connecting your WordPress.org site to your WordPress.com login? So we just click yes for that, and it takes a few seconds to uh, activate and connect it all. And once it's done that, all of a sudden you've got some magic superpowers for your website. And it's all pretty cool. They do ask you some questions now. This is reasonably uh, new uh, about you know, what your website's for. Um, I've just done this so many times, so I'm just going to skip through them all. But you can answer those uh, questions there. And when we get to the uh, end of it, then uh, you've got some options there as to uh, you know, what level you want to pay for. My recommendation is to scroll down to the bottom, and in the bottom you can just uh, start with free. So just start with free. So all of the things I'm going to talk to you about today, uh, all of the free things that are available uh, on WordPress.com for your site. So once you've done that, this is now your WordPress.com dashboard, and this is where some of the magic uh, happens. So if you click the uh, return to a WP admin down the bottom, it takes you back to your website. Um, but first of all, let's go and activate a few things here. So you'll see there's some options that uh, come uh, with it. So we're going to try downtime monitoring. So if your website goes down, then uh, this will send you through a notification to say your, your website's down. So 
uh, it's just as simple as clicking the toggle and that's all, all activated and you'll get notifications. Do you want to use your WordPress.com uh, sign-in to sign into your website? So this will allow you to, uh, to use uh, either the uh, login that you've got for your website or for WordPress.com. So we're going to say yes, we're going to do that. Uh, how about speeding up your site? Speed's all important uh, today with uh, Google. So let's just enable the Site Accelerator, which will um, um, speed up our image load time and uh, some of our scripts. So it's a CDN that's uh, provided by Photon uh, on um, WordPress. And uh, it can also lazy load your images, which means that uh, all of the images that are below the fold, they won't actually load into your website until you scroll down to them. So it gives you a quicker load time. So all of these are available on jetpack.com and as you see, it's taken about uh, a minute just to activate all of these features here that are going to uh, speed up your website and give you easier accessibility to it. So we're going to click uh, return to uh, WP Admin. So we're back in our dashboard now. And so back in the dashboard, uh, we've got a settings uh, uh, section here. And in the settings, we've got along the top uh, security, performance, writing, sharing, discussion, and traffic. So there's a whole lot of options in there that you can get in and have a look at. So what we'll do is we'll just exit this and we'll go to uh, a website that I've created especially for this WordCamp. So soon when we get to the, uh, to the website, here's your normal login screen, except it's a little bit different. There's no username and password. And we can, uh, if we click login with username and password, we can use that to login the, uh, the normal way to our, um, to our site. Or you can just click in login with wordpress.com. It's a one-click login. And um, in this case, I'm not logged into WordPress. So you need to be logged into wordpress.com to start with. So let's just log into that. Anyone remember my password? <laughs> password. <laughs> Oops, it is. All right, let's try that again. And this is going to work this time. Fingers crossed. Live demo, remember? It's never going to work. All right, so. Um, it's asking me to set up uh, two-factor authentication, uh, which we won't do. Probably because I've got a plugin installed that tells me to do that. Okay, because, it, because it's a live demo, it's not going to work. So I'm just going to log in with my normal username and password. Just pretend it worked. <laughs> so the, the key to it is, is you need to be already logged into your WordPress.com account. If you're already logged into it and you just click the, click the login with WordPress.com, it'll just take you straight through to the, um, to the dashboard. So at the top here, and because it's a demo, I've just uh, logged in with a subscriber profile. So let's just log in with another one. All right, so let's get back to our Jetpack settings. And here's where all of the, uh, the magic is. So the first thing is security. Now we've already done that in the uh, wordpress.com uh, uh, dashboard already. So um, you'll see all of those icons there are ticked. So we've got brute force uh, protection on. We've got um, allowing to log in with wordpress.com so we can use our email address. Um, and there's, there's some options there about how you log in. So it's got uh, uh, two-factor authentication, which is what it asked me to start with. So if I, if I don't want to set that up, we can turn it off and then it won't ask me that question. My recommendation is these days, it's um, having two-factor authentication is another layer of security, which uh, m uh, makes it harder for people to uh, uh, hack into your website. So, so generally have it on. Um, the, the next one here is performance. 
So uh, again, we've, we've already enabled the site accelerator for our images and static um, uh, or files such as CSS files. So, so if you tick all those, that will just make your website run faster and enabling lazy load for images. Now sometimes this doesn't work with some page builders, um, the lazy load. So if it's not working or you've already got lazy load in with another plugin, then just switch it off here. And the next one's writing. So uh, there's a couple of cool features that um, if you're putting a, a gallery into uh, your posts, uh, you know how WordPress will just put them in and they're just uh, thumbnail squares? If you uh, select uh, display images in a full screen gallery, it'll enable you to click on those images and when you click on them, it'll bring up a, uh, a light box and uh, you'll have full size images to screen, uh, to, um, uh, to flow through. So um, it's just a quick way to get a good presentation of your uh, images. And the other one is, um, uh, this one here, when you're composing. So you can um, select this one here to copy. Uh, if you want to go and copy a post or a page, there's some plugins that will do it. Or if you just select this here, it will. Uh, when you select copy, it will copy the entire uh, post or page. So, so if you've got a sort of template layout that you're using, it will copy it all, and then you can just change it and alter it, and um, and then sort of publish your new new post. Um, you can write uh, pages or posts in um, what they call plain text markdown syntax. Anyone know what that means? There's a little button over here that says learn more. So if you want to know what that means, um, markdown will sort of enable you to do things like, I think they've got an example here. So if you use a, uh, what we've got over here, just a little star, it will turn it into a bullet point. So, there's, um, so if you want to find out more about Markdown, it's just a really quick way of adding uh, bold, italics, uh, bullet points, just by typing in, in this instance here, the, um, the star. So um, if you like something sort of quick, that's a, that's a good easy way to do it. And if we get back to the site. Okay, the um, latex, who uses latex on their website? Who wears latex while they're blogging? <laughs> so latex is a markup language for mathematical uh, symbols. If you, so if you've got mathematical equations that you want to put in, if you switch on latex, it'll do the, the equals and the sigma sign and all of those, uh, those uh, tricky signs without turning it into code and, and sort of running the code, it'll just put it in as text. So good if you're a maths teacher. And um, you can compose using uh, short codes to embed media from popular sites. You actually don't need that one on anymore because with the latest versions of WordPress, you can just grab the, uh, say, YouTube URL, just paste it into your post, and it will automatically know that it's a video and display it as a video. So that one you don't need. And then you've got some things called custom post types, uh, like, and they offer you two testimonials and portfolios. So as soon as you activate those, uh, you'll see on the uh, left hand side, you've now got testimonials. And if we activate portfolios, then it gives you a portfolio custom post type. So you don't need to install another plugin and create a whole custom post type, it, it's all here for you. So if we go to testimonials, for instance, you can see that we've uh, already created some te testimonials. It looks very much like creating a post or a page. And uh, you just uh, you can use the Gutenberg blocks, and uh, you can just add your um, your text and your images uh, in there. And the same with portfolios. So if you want to display your work or even have an, an, an image gallery in there, you can put all of your por portfolio pieces uh, into a custom post type, which is there. So how quick is that? Um, then we've got uh, infinite scroll. Now, if, uh, using uh, infinite scroll uh, allows you to add a button to, uh, or it'll add a button to the uh, bottom of your post. If you click on the button, it'll just uh, uh, scroll to the next post. So rather than going to the next page, it just automatically adds it to the bottom of the post. Um, but that one there requires sometimes, depending on your theme, some themes have support for that, other themes don't have support for it. So if you click that, 
and you don't notice any difference, then your theme doesn't have support for it. You've got to add a line of code into your, um, into your theme. And if you want to find out more about it, there's a little information uh, box on the right hand side. If you just click learn more, that'll tell you what line of code you need to add to your functions file and um, how to get it working. And you've got another panel here which is uh, to enhance or add your additional CSS. Um, again, you don't need that one now because uh, that already comes preloaded in, uh, in the new version of WordPress. Now this one's really cool, uh, it, with, and that's your widgets. So uh, it'll allow extra widgets for your site, things like um, I think uh, Twitter, social media, so there's some additional widgets available. But what's really good about this is uh, a one that's called Enable Widget Visibility Controls to display or hide widgets on a particular post. So all you do is activate that, and then if you go over to your, uh, to your widgets, You'll see that there's a new uh, checkbox on your widgets. Let's just grab one here. And we'll drop it into the uh, footer. You'll see there's another button now that says visibility. When you uh, click on that button, something should happen. Let's just reload that page. Okay, so when you click on it, a, um, a box appears and it says uh, uh, either show or hide this widget uh, for uh, either a particular author, for a category, for a user, for a role. So you might just show it for just admin uh, or you might want to show it just for subscribers or, or maybe sort of admin and editor. Um, and then you can by, pay, by tag, date or taxonomy. So let's uh, click page. And uh, let's say we only want to um, show it on posts. So you can show that widget only on posts. So now, now it only shows in your blog posts, but it doesn't show on the rest of the pages in your website. Or you can um, decide to, uh, to uh, display it just on one particular page. So uh, down here it says static pages, these are your pages, there's only four on this website here. So also we only want to show this box here, let's say it was a call to action box, we only want this to display on that one page. So it'll only display on the front on that one page and no other pages. How useful is that? Yeah. Who knew Jetpack could do that? So. And that, that's, that was the primary feature that I installed Jetpack for, was that alone. But uh, I discovered all these other cool things along the way as well too. So let's get back to uh, the Jetpack settings. Uh, the other thing you can do is, um, if you're at a WordCamp like this, and uh, someone's talking, you think, geez, that'd make a good blog post. You can pull out your phone, and you can uh, create a blog post by sending an email to your website, and it will do that. So here, you can create a website address um, that uh, you can save into your phone or into some other application, and you can create an email, send that to your website, and it will create a draft post uh, right in your, in your post on your website. And this one here enables the uh, WordPress.com toolbar. If you have a look up the top here, you can see that uh, this here is your WordPress.com website. If you tick on My Sites, that'll take you through to the WordPress.com dashboard, which will show you which you can do a whole lot more things. Turn it off, you just get your normal toolbar uh, appearing back up the top again that you'll be familiar with. So if you're, if you're managing multiple, like if you're managing a single site, you, you may not turn that on, but if you're managing multiple sites, uh, then this is a good way to, to toggle back to your uh, WordPress.com and manage a, a whole lot of sites from, from, um, from there. So some features here for sharing. So when you tick on automatically share your post to your social networks, uh, you can share to, uh, when you publish a post, It'll automatically share it to Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and uh, all you need to do is to uh, configure the accounts. And uh, once you've done that, and once you've turned it on, 
Uh, so here, for instance, let's say we want to connect it to um, Facebook. You just simply connect the Facebook uh, connect button. It will take you through to Facebook. Uh, you log into uh, Facebook and, uh, and authorise it. And I can't remember my Facebook password, so I won't do that. So, um, and, and, it will, and it will tell you, uh, so if you've got a Facebook feed or a Facebook page, you can select which uh, of those or all of them that it uh, publishes those posts on for you. And you can, you can even connect Google Photos. So if you want Google Photos, if you're storing your photos in Google Photos and you want them to be available in your media library, if you connect to Google Photos, then all of your photos stored in there will be available to you in your media library. You don't actually have to re-upload them again every time you want to use them. And uh, MailChimp as well. Oh, these are some of my photos. And uh, you can add sharing buttons to the uh, bottom of your website, so uh, on the bottom of your posts. So uh, with your sharing icons, you've got a choice of uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and a whole lot more. So, uh, and you can choose uh, with your displays of icon, icon and text. So if you, uh, if you toggle through that there and just have a look uh, above here, it, uh, or you click changes, then, um, Nothing really changed with that, did it? So, uh, but you can, you can choose which buttons you want to have at the uh, bottom of your website. So here we go, we've got Facebook and Twitter there. Let's say we want LinkedIn as well, um, and we can uh, add that to the, um, to the site. So the, oh, this, one's, this one's into the little More tab. So on the More tab, you might just want to display, say, Twitter and Facebook, and then have a uh, More link, and then you can add uh, all the other ones into the More link, or you can add them in um, separately. And uh, here down here is, is where you can show where those buttons display. You might want them just on posts, uh, which is probably where you have them, or on posts and pages. If you've got custom post types, uh, these will also display there, and you can choose to have them on custom post types too. So you don't need another plugin to do it, you can just use Jetpack. And uh, next tab is discussion. So uh, you know the comments box that sits at the bottom of your blog posts? Um, so you can have people comment on that, or you can let them um, log in uh, with WordPress.com, and uh, so then your comments uh, will appear on uh, WordPress.com as well as appearing on your, uh, on your blog. And um, it just, just enables it to uh, go out more, uh, a little more wider than your uh, than your own blog, um, than your own blog, and um, which means that in terms of your uh, link building, you've got another link back to your website, and you can let visitors subscribe to your posts and comments uh, by email. So what that means is um, they can just a checkbox at the bottom of the, um, um, of the comments or at the bottom of your blog post. Every time someone leaves a comment, um, which is the second one here, they'll be notified uh, every time someone leaves a comment. So for instance, if they've left a comment on there and they want to follow a thread through, if someone replies to the comment or adds, a, adds, adds another comment to it, then they'll get an email notification every time. So good for activity on your blog and keeping it active and keeping, a, a, keeping discussion going. Oh, look at this, you can even view your email followers. And I've got no one, because I only set the site up two weeks ago. <laughs> so, um, but, but all of your subscribers would appear here. Every time someone subscribes, this is, this is where they'll appear. And I think we're almost at the end of all the settings. There's one more to go, and that's your traffic. And this one's a really good one as well too. So related posts, you can add at the bottom of your blog post, you can create a section like uh, this one here uh, at the bottom of your blog post. So once people have finished reading, uh, then they can find other relevant blog posts that are like that. And um, this will just automatically generate 
you know, relevant ones based on your categories and tags. So you can't set which ones they are, it's just an algorithm that will choose you know, sort of three that are most relevant. So hopefully that keeps your people on your site longer uh, because they'll keep reading. You can, um, if you haven't got uh, any SEO plugins in there, uh, you can generate an Excel, XML sitemap, uh, which is what Google needs for uh, webmaster tools or search console. So all you need to do is uh, click, uh, switch it on. Now you've got XML sitemaps. And uh, if you want to see what it looks like, just click on these links here and uh, you'll be able to, to see your, uh, your sitemap. You can... Um, also verify, so you know how Google uh, wants to verify your ownership of the website before you can add things like Google Analytics and, um, and Google Code? You can actually just put your verification codes in here. So you, you can either click Google to take it through to Google login and get your verification, or you can do it, uh, do it manually. So that's all in the, um, in the dashboard here. You don't need to install another plugin, or you don't have to go through to your files via PHP to then insert a, uh, a file there to do the verification. You can do it right from the dashboard with Jetpack. Oh, and this one's good too. So, uh, if you've got a if you've got a blog post with a URL that's if it's that long, um, you you can just by switching on generate uh, shorten URLs for simple sharing, you can get a URL that's that long that would, which will go to the page. So you don't need to use Bitly or some of those other shortening links. You've got that right in your uh, in your website just by switching on this generated shortened URLs for simpler sharing. It's a lot of features, isn't it? Yeah. So that's, that's just Jetpack. So um, have a play, have a look. There are some more features in it, but those are the key ones that are in Jetpack. Here's some other things you can do with uh, WordPress.com as well. So if we go back to the slides. Akismet. Who gets spam? So Akismet is um, uh, WordPress's plugin for preventing spam. So you'll see if you go down to your, into your plugins here, uh, Akismet is automatically there. All you do is just activate it. So it's there with every install. Once you've activated, you've got a button that says set up your Akismet account. And all you simply do is connect with Jetpack. So once you've got Jetpack installed, you can ins install your spam security with a gizmet. And you're done. How easy is that? Now you're protected. Let's just save it. Oh, the, the one thing I do is I uh, generally, you've got an option here of silently discarding the uh, worst and most pervasive spam. Or you, if you really want to see what spammers are saying, just put it in another folder so you can read it you know, when you've got time. So there's your, there's your akismet. And what else have we got? Ah, Gravatar. So you know how sometimes you, you've got to upload a photo to, uh, to various sites to um, put all your details in, upload a photo all over the place? Gravatar is this uh, great site that will allow you to, let's just pop this on slide. It, it, it'll, it'll allow you to um, automatically, play, here we go. Okay, here's Gravatar. Look at this. You can sign into Gravatar with WordPress.com. So once you've, once you've signed in, so see, because I was already signed into WordPress.com, it just automatically opens up the Gravatar dashboard. The great thing about Gravatar is all of the email addresses you, you use for uh, commenting or blogging or whatever you're using for, you can add them all in here. And uh, you can upload a photo 
for each, each one of your email addresses. So for instance, I've got some uh, personal, uh, I use my personal email addresses for some sites, I use my business email address for other sites. So you may want to have a uh, more professional photo for your, um, uh, for your business sites and you may want a, uh, a different photo, a less professional photo with a cat on your shoulder for um, non yeah, you know, just for personal sites. So you can do that, and as soon as you do that, there are a whole lot of uh, web applications out there that use that. So here's Zapier, for instance. I use Zapier, and you'll see that same photo is already up there. And if I go through to uh, my profile, down here, you'll see that uh, here it is. We use Gravatar service to associate it with Zapier. So it's not just WordPress it uses for, it uses it for all blogs so we use those, uh, that email address if you're commenting, plus various services like Zapier. Next thing is, is WooCommerce. If you've got a WordPress.com login, uh, WooCommerce uses the same one as well. So you can log into WooCommerce.com Download WooCommerce into your website and connect it into your website. And uh, once you've connected it, WooCommerce extensions, a lot of those are available from within your WordPress dashboard where you can click on it, go directly to the landing page, buy it and install it into your website. The other thing you've got is a mobile app. Who knew that you had a mobile app for WordPress? A couple of people. So, um, on your, so if you go to um, wordpress.com, just search for apps, you can download an app for your phone where you can manage your website on your phone. In fact, manage all of the websites you're managing, uh, you can do that on your phone. And there's also a desktop version of it as well too. And uh, what the desktop version is, is uh, just really a replica of your uh, wordpress.com dashboard. So it's this here. So it's a replica of that there. And in here, um, you need to explore in here because what you also get are stats on your website. So, so instead of going to Google Analytics, you, um, you, you can have this all in your um, WordPress.com dashboard and on your actual website dashboard as well too. So it's all there. Um, you can create uh, blog posts from the app or from in here. You can install plugins. You can update plugins. So you can, you can have a look at some um, uh, plugins in the repository um, and uh, you can set it to uh, uh, actually update and auto update uh, plugins that you choose or you can unselect some and not auto update it. So you can keep on top of your updates without having to go back into your uh, website. And you can also do things like um, manage subscribers on your website, people have got access to it. You can add or remove our admins and, um, and editors. You can edit your site, you can change themes. So from within your WordPress.com dashboard and, and the app there, you can create a post from in there. Or if you've emailed a post to the uh, dashboard, you can come and log into your mobile app and you can uh, edit it, approve it, add an image to it, all from the, um, all from the app. So it's really just, just for on the, um, on the go. Simple notes, did you know? WordPress.com will let you log into a, a site with simple notes. It's a bit like uh, an application like uh, Evernote or um, or similar. So if we click on simple notes, and here's simple note, you've got create an account or sign in, and you'll notice if you hit uh, sign in, you can log in with Press.com. So Simple Notes an app that you've got on your phone uh, or on your uh, computer and uh, you can use it just to take some quick notes. So if, you, if you're out and about and uh, uh, you get some inspiration and uh, you want to write about it, then uh, you can just keep it into, in Simple Notes here. Okay, it's probably not going to work, is it? Yeah, here we go. All right, so we're in. And so now you can just uh, create a note, so it's simple as clicking the, the plus, new note, and uh, you can just start, start writing. So it's a bit like, you know, if I'm a Mac user, got notes on Mac, this is just another form of that there which is online for you.
Next one is crowd signal. If you wanted uh, polls and surveys on your site, there's a site called crowd signal, uh, which you can also log into with your wordpress.com site because automatic is behind crowd signal as well. So see down in the, uh, in the bottom, uh, was it right or left, depending whether you're looking at the screen or I'm sort of here, there's a poll down there. That's what the poll looks like. So you can uh, embed that uh, onto your site. And coming soon, yet there's more. Did you know that uh, Automatic or has uh, now bought a plugin called Zero BS CRM? So it allows you to have a, a CRM, uh, like, like a MailChimp or an Entreport or a Drip inside your WordPress um, dashboard. So uh, it's a pretty powerful plugin. Um, I've had a bit of a play with it. So uh, if, you if you need a CRM and you don't want to um, you know, splash out for one of the uh, third party services, you can run something like that inside your website. And uh, word on the street is that maybe this will be uh, able to be used, uh, or Jetpack's gonna roll it into its offering, and you'll be able to use your WordPress.com login to log into it. And if Jetpack takes it on, it'll be available inside your dashboard. How cool is that, eh? Anyone heard of a site called Tumblr? Yeah, guess who owns it? Automatic. So, uh, we're, so they acquired Tumblr, uh, another blogging platform. At the moment, you can't log into it with WordPress.com. Who knows? I'm not sure whether you will uh, at some stage. I don't know what their plans are, but maybe at some stage you'll be able to sort of uh, use uh, Tumblr as well as WordPress. And the last thing that you can use your WordPress.com login for is WordPress.tv. So in all the presentations we've been having here this weekend, they will go up to WordPress uh, TV. So you can go to WordPress.tv, log in with your um, uh, WordPress.com login, and uh, all of the learning you need to know about uh, WordPress, it's all gonna be available for you there, and it is now. And that's it, that's all I've got for you. That's um, how to supercharge your website using WordPress.com. And if you do want to get hold of me or follow me, just go to nickcree.me, everything's there. That's fantastic. Thank you very much, Nick. A comprehensive guide to WordPress.com. So definitely have a look at that. If you've got your, your normal website, use Jetpack and connect it through. Um, so yeah, a big round of applause for Nick, please.